Over here you will find student bathrooms just outside of our kindergarten classroom. And here's a bulletin board where some of your child's learning will be displayed. And then over here is our coat room area where children will hang their backpacks, lunch kits, and they will have extra shoes and clothing should there be inclement weather or should they have an accident. You will notice students' names and family pictures present in many places in the classroom. <laughs> We'd like our students to feel like they're their diversity and families are honored in our classroom and it also creates a sense of comfort to be able to see their family, particularly on a tough day. You'll notice we have several communal tables for the children. Here they will work on independent and group tasks as well as socialize for lunch and snack times. Um, we also like to have a tea party once a month where children can socialize. You'll notice work and art on the walls as well as other learning tools like alphabets, letter sound visuals, and word wall. You'll notice a large carpet gathering area where we spend lots of our time in kindergarten. And over here we have a daily schedule, we do our calendar routine, a listening center, a smart board for learning, as well as an easel where we deliver some of our lessons. Here we have a book area, normally there's more books in there, where we would be focusing on a special author of the month or different themes or inquiries, as well as several baskets with books around different subject areas. This is our sensory table. We usually have it filled with water, sometimes sand. We have items from nature. Uh, we use other items to explore different learning concepts. We also have similar experiences in smaller bins that are typically available throughout the classroom. Over here you'll find a collection of loose parts and manipulatives that we like to use for a storytelling workshop where the children build their own stories and we help them scribe them. A lot of the materials we collect together in nature and we love to get outside behind our school to the creek where we spend quite a bit of time. plethora of toys like Lego, stuffed animals, puppets, train sets, puzzles, and more. Playtime is built into every day and there are various structures and play experiences that children are involved in. There's a dramatic play area where we have a play kitchen as well as many dress-up items. We also have real-life items from home like old phones. Creating these intentional areas of play for children helps them develop rich communication experiences. We also have a sink area because we make a lot of messes in kindergarten. Students are able to wash their hands in our classroom and there's also a water fountain available for drinking. We also have literacy and math center areas. Here there are educational games, puzzles, activities and manipulatives that teach early learning concepts in a play-based way. Children also have access to lots of open-ended art materials. This invites students to be creative and use their imagination and not just have a pre-made ideal set up for them. 